the theory is a bunch of cooks spoil the broth, but we proved this theory wrong. Um, over the course of two years, we collaborated with many different people from four different countries, Poland, Germany, uh, France, and Spain, to create a box full of uh, recipes. So what you see here, it's the final product. Um, the first two pages are just a short intro to the project. Like Here's the history and the partners or the schools which are involved. On the back is just a short introduction um, to the project from this year, like the theme, uh, which is a ready mind and a healthy body. It incorporates sport and nutrition. The second page uh, gives an introduction on the schools which were in involved, the French school, the German school, the Polish and the Spanish school. And then after that, come all the recipes from, as you can see, all the different countries. So each card has the country of the origin, the name of the country and a beautiful picture of it. The history of or like how uh, this product was made is right here. The ingredients and the author who created the card. Um, then also on the front is uh, the time it takes to make the meal, the cost, and the difficulty. On the back are the instructions and a short tip just to help you um, make a better final product. And the nutritional value is also here. This is where a lot of our research went into it. The picture on the front features an uh, augmented reality feature, which uh, means that you can use the Orasma app to kind of scan the picture, which will enable your phone which, with which you're scanning the photo to um, have a video of the tutorial um, for the meal pop up. This video is from YouTube. and. It can also be accessed from the QR code here. Okay, let's try a few of these recipes. Hey, what are you doing here? No, I'm playing a uh, video game. And how does the game work? Well, uh, it's a questionnaire video game, so okay. you must answer the questions that the video game answer. Basically, that's it. And what's the theme of the video game? Well, it's uh, about healthy and sport. Okay. Healthy food, healthy yeah. life and sport. So it's basically like a vocabulary. Yeah, yeah, you will learn all, a lot of vocabulary from different countries, so can show you for example, the countries we have, uh, you can learn vocabulary in Spanish, Polish, German, and French. Okay, that's good. Cool. So today we are going to play some sports uh, with uh, four team, and uh, in every team there is a. Um, some Polish, Spanish, French, and German uh, students. Okay, we've arrived over here. We've got two teams playing the form of baseball. So, what, what exactly are you doing here? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, uh, we play baseball. Like and I think actual American baseball or? Um, no, not uh, exactly. Another <laughs> you know, like a tennis racket. Yeah. Or like, yeah. Okay. It's better. Yeah, but it's nice weather. It's perfect. <laughs> Have 
exactly is the aim of the game? Um, it is, oh, it is basically um, the green team is in the middle and has to get the ball. Okay. And the uh, blue team has to smash the ball as far as you can yeah. and um, has to run the whole circle. Okay. And every red um, yeah, thing is uh, kind of um, is it like a base where you're yes, safe. Yes, a base where, you, okay. where you're safe. And um, okay. yeah, if you don't get the base, so then you are out, so you have to go back. Yeah. Okay. Here and just Okay, thank you. Yes, I can't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can. Wait, yes. Over here, we have two teams playing soccer. It seems to be more of a street soccer type since the playing field is made out of concrete. Can I ask you a quick question? Uh, like what? Yeah, um, do you normally play soccer? Or is this just... Or no, just for fun. Yeah, and what do you generally think about women or girls playing soccer? Is it uh, good I think it's uh, good, it's a uh, sport for everybody. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's fun. And pull, 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 pull. So now we're here in a mall in Lyon. And let's go to the shop. What was it? I have a question. What exactly are you doing here? We are planning our table uh, because we are in the decorating committee and it's a competition. And yes, uh, so we are trying to get some inspiration for our, our ideas. Can you explain what you're doing here? Right now we're just uh, um, organizing the whole plan for the decoration and trying to find shapes and uh, combine the colors and also white of course. And in our three tables we have used those colors for both the tables and the flowers and the napkins. Concrete. Again, Concrete, yes. So we tried to get this in our table too, but also work with a little bit of lights. So, uh, yes. And uh, this is what we try to do. We try to also... Many flowers. And uh, here is up the part of flowers. We use uh, uh, stones to make it more natural. Original here with um, yellow and. Um... What's on the menu tonight? Uh, tonight we eat as an appetizer barley soup, then the main dish is paella, and for dessert is um, praline pie and apple pie. <laughs> It's typical uh, from Germany and everybody like this. I hope you enjoy it. Texture qui nous surprend puisqu'on nous présente ça comme une soupe. C'est l'implication qu'ils ont mis sur l'entrée. On va dire. Ah oui. Okay. Et 
is traditional of Spain and it has a potato, a onion, egg and a lot of water. Okay, are you ready? Yes? Hello. Olympic team games <laughs> and the winners are the yellow team.